this look was initially inspired by 18th century paintings, when women had really frizzy hair, but they didn't know how to treat it, so they would just brush through it. It's a romantic look, but it's a cool look. It's not too pretty. So it's, it's all about a matte, dull finish using dry shampoo, volumizing conditioning spray, and mousse, and just rough drying it. Um, this just really kind of takes all the oil out the hair, and it really kind of creates that dull finish. And then you use a large iron. You just wrap it around. And then that's all you need, just that. When you're done with it, you just kind of encourage all the frizz that's happening. You know, it's definitely a look where you're not fighting frizz, you're encouraging the frizz. Today's look is Venus Porcelain Girls. I'm using lip clean to bring out their like a healthy look, you know, healthy, like almost like when you take a hot shower, your cheek comes out. I'm using that over eyes and the cheek and the lips as well, because it's, it's beautifully blended into skin. And also that shimmer eyeshadow they have, and their color choices is quite amazing. It works for the every single skin tone. And I mix that into it so that it has like a pearly, beautiful, out of the world effect. We started with the idea of the pre-Raphaelite movement. We just wanted the feeling of romance and the feeling of... Um, Softness. You know, just like, almost like natural beauty. We really started with the pre-Raphaelite thing. We really wanted to, to have that same feeling and essence of those paintings. There's a lot of color this season, a lot of print work. There's just a lot of softness, you know, whether it's the draping, the way the dress moves, the way the dress touches the body. There's a certain kind of feminine softness to the collection. At the heart of what we do is just something very romantic. So it's really what we strive to. I, I, we love that idea in fashion, and fashion being something that's both something that you live with every day, but also something that has a bit of a dream to it. You want to give someone the reason to get excited about a piece of clothing. So for us, this was another movement that we felt where like there was just a sort of you know inner beauty that came out of those women in those paintings, and that's really what we wanted to touch on. The clothes are more or less caressing the body as opposed to obliterating or, you know, they're not painted on. They're just kind of like, and they're not overly draped either. They're just kind of like softly caressing the body. We approached the season in a way where we kind of worked on the prints first and the colors first. So we really didn't want to have it mired in any specific thing. And that was sort of the approach we took. So we really let the colors kind of dictate that for us. And that's where we sort of started feeling that movement come out. And it's, it's always an inspiration for us. It's always been an inspiration for us. So I think we really let the kind of story unfold for itself and really tell itself.
The print, they're just abstracted paintings we did and played with them in Photoshop. I think, you know, for us, they were a way to tell that story through color and really play with what colors do to each other and certain colors play against each other when they're next to each other. You know, sometimes it's just, it's just playing with two different colors can really kind of stir an emotion and stir a feeling. For us, it's always like a continuation and how to expand what we do and do it differently, but like still have that feeling. So like each collection to kind of flow into the next, with, but without being the same almost collection. Like the chapter to the, you know, we always look at almost like chapters to a book. I think it's that balancing act between the fantasy of runway and clothing and and then what the reality is to the consumer. So it's always that balancing act of, you know, refreshing and telling a new story, but at the same time addressing what is real to what people want from you and what people see. And it's, it's sort of then figuring out what they want before they know they want it. I want people to feel excited about clothing, and it's such an exciting time, I think, for fashion. You know, you want someone just to respond and to really fall in love with something.